Yes, sir, guys. Are you guys trying to figure out how to lose weight without counting the calories? We're going to get straight into it. Let's get it. Tip number one, tip number one. Listen, only eat between the hours of 12 to 6. If you only eat between the hours of 12 to 6, that's going to give you an 18-hour fast. Some people consider that intermittent fasting. Intermittent fast is where you fast for about 16 hours and you only eat for 8 hours. But if you're really just trying to drop weight and lose weight as quickly as possible, you only want to eat between 12 to 6. So that means you only eat for a total of 6 hours. That should be fairly easy if you're not eating a ton of calories. Someone like myself, I'm eating about 3,500 calories a day. That's a lot. So it's a little bit harder for me to consume 3,500 calories in just 6, six hours. But if you're in like a, de a deficit or if you're in a maintenance, and you're anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day, you should be able to get those 2,000 to 2,500 calories in within those six hours of your eating. And actually, I find myself a lot more productive. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing on my mind is just going to get to work. Like, I make sure, you know, I have some water, I have my gallon a day, but by me not focusing on eating and just focusing on what I have to do, I'm a lot more efficient throughout the day because I don't realize that when I take in a bunch of calories, I eat a bunch of carbs, it spikes my sugar level, spikes my insulin, and then I start to, you know, feel tired. Like, <laughs> so we've all been there, you know, we eat a bunch of food and then we're just ready to go to sleep. And that's not good, especially when I need to be productive. Like I need my mind all throughout the day for editing, you know, content creation, and also my nine to five job, I really need to be productive. So I, I don't have a lot of time to eat a bunch of food and feel sluggish and tired. So it's really helpful for me sometimes when I really don't eat my first meal until about one o'clock, two o'clock. And I'm a, I find myself a lot more productive. So I recommend if you guys want to really lose weight without counting calories, just eat between the hours of 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you'll also notice you're going to be a lot more productive at work. That's tip number one. Tip number two, tip number two, this was a game changer. And that's make sure you step on the scale daily. Listen, guys, the weight is not going to come off unless you're monitoring, unless you're tracking it. For me, when I start stepping on a scale daily, this, nothing can hold me more accountable because numbers don't lie. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, the, the scale will mess me up. You know, that doesn't mean anything. I might have lost a little bit of weight and gained a little bit of muscle. Listen, the scale doesn't lie. Okay, we're not, we're just, the scale doesn't lie. The number is a number. And if you're tracking what you're eating or if you don't want to track what you're eating, then that's a way to be more efficient. If you see your weight going up, clearly you need to implement more cardio, more lifting, more walking, or cut back on your calories. So guys, those are just easy things that you can do. And I've seen that system work so effectively for so many people by tracking. It's, it's a great accountability system, especially if you don't have a partner. A lot of people don't want someone to hold them accountable. A lot of people don't want someone calling them every day, saying, hey, like, did you do it? Did you, did you lose weight? Did you hit your goal? People don't want that type of attention on them. That's fine. But you have to be real with yourself, you know, look in the mirror and look at that scale, you know, get on the scale every day. So that's an easy way to help you lose weight without tracking your calories. It's just by stepping on the scale, guys. Really simple. This is for ladies and gentlemen. You know, I won't speak too much to the ladies, but I know that you guys have that time of the month when your weight goes up. That's perfectly fine. So I understand the numbers may be off. I train women clients as well. So my woman, my woman clientele, I know that typically during the time during that time of the month, their periods, you know. Their weight could be all over the place. Some people lose weight, some women gain weight. So obviously that week the numbers may be a little bit off, but typically 80% of the time, the number on the scale will be accurate. So please use that as a great indicator. That's an easy way to help you lose weight without having to track your food daily. So that's tip number two. Listen guys, be mindful of your appetite. I know a lot of guys don't know what I mean when I say that. So, <laughs> I discovered that so many people eat to get full. And I think we grow up in American society, Western society, eating to get full, where if you look at other cultures in other parts of the country, they're eating just for a sufficient amount to just, you know, help their appetite. If you are stuffing yourself, that's the problem. Be mindful of like how much you're consuming. You don't need to have two, three plates of food. Every day should not be Thanksgiving. And I think a lot of people, you know, have an issue with that, where they eat to, you know, get full and they wonder why they're gaining seven pounds over a weekend. I've seen a lot of people who tend to, when they go on vacation, I've seen a lot of my clients put on seven to 10 pounds over a weekend. I was like, I'm like, man, how do you do that? And it's just overindulging. It's having 10 shots of alcohol, having three pieces 
five pieces of the cake. And I realize that a lot of you guys incorporate that on your routine. Listen, I'm not perfect. I've been there, you know. I've been there where I've been drinking a lot, you know, drinking soda, juice, you know, whatever I can get my hands on, eating a whole box of pizza to myself. But, you know, I really challenge you guys to step up and say, hey, you know what, that's enough. You know, like, have some discipline and work on your discipline. For me, it's, it's not easy. Like, even now, you look, a lot of people look at me like, oh, you're, you're in great shape. You know, just the other day, I had a box of pizza. You know, late at night, it was 2 a.m., 2, 3 a.m., I had a whole box of pizza. And I woke up the next day, and I was like, I like, man, it felt incredible. I, I loved it. Like, I enjoyed my, my time out. I enjoyed my pizza, you know, but then the next day, someone like, hey, you want Chick-fil-A? And I go, okay. Like, I have like, no, I'm trying to be mindful. I don't want to be filling myself every day. I don't want to, you know, lose what I've worked so hard for. And, you know, for those guys, for those of you who haven't seen the results yet, it's coming, but you just have to say no a couple of times. So I really recommend you guys to be mindful of what you're putting in your body. The more mindful you are, the more you say no, you know, the better off you'll be. Because I've just seen so many times, like now that I'm more into fitness and I pay, and I'm more mindful of what I eat, you know, so a lot of my friends say, hey, we're going to go out during the daytime to a day party, and then we're going to go out at night as well. And it's like, you know, we, we start drinking and eating at, at 2 p.m. So, you know, if, if I drink at 2 p.m. and then I drink again, that's five shots at 2 p.m. That's another five shots at 10 p.m. That's 10 shots. So is all that necessary? No, you can go out at night. You can just wait till nighttime, have a shot or two, have a, have a glass of wine, whatever your thing is, have a slice of pizza and just be mindful. I'm not telling you guys on every evening, you know, you, that food is, I'm not one of those fitness guys gonna tell you oh, that food is poison, it's crap, don't eat it. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and that's not realistic. But what I would tell you guys is, hey, you don't need a whole box of pizza. Like what I did the other day, you don't need a whole box. You just need one slice, okay? And then just keep building up that discipline. I promise you, at first I did not have discipline and it was so hard for me, men and women. You know, I, I love cheese, I love ice cream, I, you know, I love slushies. Anyone, anyone who knows me said that I used to see them all the time at 7-Eleven getting those slushies, if you really know me. So I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you like, oh, don't do it, it's bad. But over time, I'll be able to really build up that discipline. And I know you guys can too. So listen, moving forward for tip number four, please be mindful of what you're eating and do not eat for fulfillment. Just eat for, just eat to be satisfied. You don't need to stuff yourself. Just eat to be satisfied and you will see a huge change without having to track your calories. Make sure you're walking all throughout the day. Listen, you guys gotta stay active and keep moving. Something that's very helpful is I have a walking treadmill at my desk. If an easy way for you to burn up a lot of calories and for you not to count your calories and to help you lose weight is just to walk throughout the day. Plan, plan to walk during your lunch, plan to walk after work, and plan to walk when you get home. So a lot of people, if you notice that a lot of people have dogs and have cats, and like you, if you notice that. When people are gaining a lot of weight and they get a dog or they get a cat, they just drop a lot of weight. You guys wonder why. And the reason why they drop so much weight is because they started walking. I got my leanest when I started walking. For the longest time, you know, I didn't really have visible abs. You know, on my legs, I couldn't really get cut up in my legs. I was like, how can I shed that weight in my legs? You know, I was blessed to upper body, you know, it didn't, it didn't take too much. But my legs, you know, that was where I held a lot of my weight. And I was like, how can I drop this weight? And when it's like, well, do you walk 10,000 steps a day? And I had never heard of that. So, you know, that was later on in the game. I had been maybe seven years in the training and I had never heard about walking 10,000 steps a day. So it's okay to not know something. You don't have to be ashamed of it. I didn't know about it. I'm coming to you and I'm confirming that. So something that was very helpful was when I did start walking 10,000 steps a day, I know that I started to cut a lot more weight. So I really recommend that's the easy way to lose weight. And I know so many people are scared to go to the gym and take that step towards the gym. So it's an easy way to start burning calories and you can make it fun. Typically, like I like to do my walk-in during my lunch break. It's something that my coworkers and I, we even do together. We take a lap around our building for the fun of it. Or, you know, there's so many ways you can get on the phone. That's another thing that I like to do is get on the phone and get my steps in. Whatever I have to do to get my steps in. Walking can be very boring. So, you know, I try to find little things, whether that's listening to an audio book, telling me to take my mind off of walking, or like I said, having a phone conversation, or going for a walk with my coworkers. That's an easy way to lose one to two pounds a week consistently just by walking.
Tip number five, tip number five, and this is the last tip of the day, guys. Listen, compound lifts. That is your bench, that is your squat, that is your deadlift, that is your power clean, that is your glute hammies. Listen, guys, by performing glute bridges, by performing squats, if you guys are not familiar with what that is, check out my Instagram page. I'm gonna put the description below. I have a bunch of products in there. You can get TLF apparel. So listen, guys, for a compound list, that's an easy way to track. For me, I know I'm gaining more muscle if I'm able to lift more. At first, you know, I was struggling. I had a lot going on. I can only bench 135. And then I got up to 175. Then I got up to 185, 195, 205. If you see those lifts going up, you know you're building more muscle. If you have more muscle on your body, it's easier for you to burn calories. Just by me having more muscle on my body, I'm able to just burn more calories by standing still. Opposed to someone else who it has less muscle that weighs the same as me. So guys, having muscle is a cheat code and we're getting older. Once you hit 30, especially men, once we hit 30, we start to lose muscle and we start to hit atrophy. So guys, you have to build muscle and the more muscle you build, the leaner you'll be. So that's why I recommend performing these compound lifts because these are high intense calorie burning workouts that will really help you drop a lot of body fat and build muscle. So you guys are really serious about, hey, you know what you're like, hey, I don't like counting my calories. That's too tedious. I have a lot going on. Well, this is something easy you could do. I just say make a mental note. I don't track my squat max and my deadlift and my bench max. I don't, I don't track that. But I know, hey, you know, I, I got 225 for five last week. Let me get 225 for seven. Or let me squat. Last week I squatted 375. This week, no, let me squat 385. So by just pushing those numbers up and ramping them up little by little, you'll start to build more and more muscle. And that's going to help you become leaner and leaner. So that's an easy way to help you build muscle and help you lean out. This is for men and women. This is not just for men. This is for women as well. Women, by building up your glutes, by building up your hamstrings, you know, women, your bodies are like Play-Doh. When you lift these weights, they really, you can sculpt your body however you want. If you want those big, I have women that I've trained that, you know, they're, they're very, they're like, hey, you know what, I want, I want my glutes to look like this, I want my hamstrings like this, I want my calves like this. So I'm like, okay, hey, well, this is what we need to do. And they, you know, they don't believe that first. They think they're gonna look like some bodybuilder on Instagram. It's like, there's no way you're gonna look like that bodybuilder on Instagram. That bodybuilder works out twice a day, every single day, and they track everything they're eating, and they've been training for 10 to 15 years easily. I will. I don't even look like those women <laughs> on Instagram. So it's it's impossible for you to look like that. But you must lift weights. So by performing compound lifts, that's gonna help you get rid of body fat, build lean muscle without having you have to track your calories. And that is tip number five. All right, guys, this is your boy, Chief. Those are the five tips. Listen, we're gonna get after it, okay? Thank you guys for locking in. I'm seeing you guys subscribe. Keep subscribing to the page. Keep hitting the notification button. Keep sharing with your friends. We're gonna grow this thing crazy. I'm gonna come to you guys. Any, any questions you guys have, you see you guys left these comments, and I came back with the video just for you guys. Whatever you guys need, I'm gonna demand it. I'm gonna supply it each and every week. So stay tuned. Content performance all day. We out. No watch, no diamonds, no watch.